Hey guys, this is GreenyXI welcoming you to Let's Play Lundra episode 42. Now, I liked when I loaded this game up this time, the name of this little section is Elaine's 15 Minutes. I like that because normally it's like an hour of fame, but because she's got four personalities, it's 15 minutes, which, you know, times four is an hour. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, fool. Check what's in here. That might have been a bit geeky. <laughs> that joke. Oh, okay. That lowers those ones. So now we've done all four switches. We need to find our way back to the ice place now, I think. Did I miss a walk pad down here? No? Okay. So we're done with this room for certain. You could equip the Navas Charm on this part because it nullifies fire damage. But. And it doesn't do much damage anyway, so any point. Alright, okay, um. Hmm. I think I'm in the right place for this though, for where I, what I need to do next. We need to drop... No, no. We need to drop down onto those two treasure chests. Oh god, we are back guys. Battery! <laughs> there we go. Plugged it in but didn't flick the switch. Okay, this way. The waterway might have been the right way. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's not. There are, Lundra. The shock seems to be placed rather in inconveniently. Ow. <sighs> oh. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. And same with these ones, really. You need to... Right, okay, this is where I was thinking of before. We'll try the left one, then we'll come back and try the right one. Oh no! That's not fair. <laughs> Unfairness. Let's try it again. There is no point in taking this off. So we'll just be using it again in a sec. Right. Key? Can we jump over? Yeah, okay, we don't need to go back around and do that. So there we go, that's what we came here for. <coughs> I think we're actually done with the dungeon now. I can't get those, I can't remember how to get those. I think it might have been when Maya was there, we had to jump on her head and jump over and... I don't know. When lands rage, bellows forth, only the fruit of ages shall silence the fury. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Some of these are bright orange, they're bigger than the others. I missed it. Don't worry about... ...getting hit by the flames when you've got a rock in your hands. Um, the rocks don't smash or anything like that. You'll still get hurt, obviously. Ah, oh, they do smash. <laughs> I was completely wrong. <laughs> Actually, let me check something, just for a moment. Ah, there we go. There we go. Well, this might be a waste of time. But it's worth doing, I'll show you anyway. Oop. Try again. Try again. 
There we go. Simple jump. <laughs> ah, why not? Why the hell not? Okay, I'm actually glad we got those now. Let's start filling the holes in again. close. There we go. Two down. Nope. Three down. One more. There we go. All four done. So now we can get to the door to the last boss. <laughs> We've destroyed the other three nightmares, so that means that one remaining must be the real Aline. You two alone rid the castle of the imposters. I can't thank you enough. Castle, that's um, one of her personalities, if I remember, when we spoke to her before. She was like a princess, she was hidden away in the castle. And obviously this is the real... Elaine. Oh, we didn't have to fight the last boss. I forgot about that. So we didn't have to fight the hardest boss. <laughs> I'm happy anyway. <sighs> so, you have returned. Will Lin recover? Or has she been put out of our... Or should I say, her misery? Our misery? That's so... What a nice mayor. That's an extremely callous thing for you to say, Bimad. She is, after all, one of your subjects. But no matter. Elendra has managed to save her and return safely. We should rejoice. Oh, Elaine, my daughter has opened her eyes. Am I dead? Are you angels? Thank you, Alundra. I knew when it came down to it, you would make the right choice. A heroic choice. Alundra, I've never been more impressed with your ability and your heroism. Amir, you two are to be commended. Fine work. Alundra, I swear to you, I'll keep my promise. I will never take another drink as long as I live. My daughter deserves a father who doesn't need a bottle to deal with life's hardships. Yeah, this isn't much, but I want you to have it. Exchange the iron flail for the steel flail. Yep, just more powerful, and you can charge it up and spin it around your head, sort of thing. I'll show you now. Or in the next video, whichever. You two must be exhausted. Go home and rest. I'll stay here for a while, make sure Lynn recovers fully. Alright then, let's do it. And there we go. <laughs> That's a toughish nightmare to get through. Very confusing with the four different paths. Ooh, night time. I'm sorry to come here so late. It's it's Giles. He's gone insane again, Lundra, and seemed worse this time. I don't know what to do. It feels as if I'm about to lose my own mind. You must help. Sorry to wake you, Lundra. I bring worrisome news. As if we should expect anything else in these dark times. Giles is again trapped in a nightmare. Mia is at his house, but refuses to enter his dream. I don't understand it. Once again, Lundra, his life is in your hands. I admire your fortitude, but do not know how you managed to bear up. I suppose you simply must. Well then... You best make your way to Giles' house. Yeah. <laughs> Giles. <laughs> he's been worshipping the devil even after we saved him from his nightmare and everything. So, he's got another nightmare. Which is great. It's bloody great. <laughs> Let's save for a sec. Describing the tail. I haven't shown you the load screen yet. It's pretty interesting. You can actually walk around and everything. It's I like it. It's better than just selecting a save file. It's a bit long-winded sometimes if you just want to rush and get on and do a little bit before going out somewhere or something like that. But it's still interesting. I like. I do like it. What are you saying? Jazz cannot be saved. Alundra, I'm terrified by what's happened to you. The nightmare returned after you destroyed it. And not just that, Septimus. Why does Malthus only attack at night? Why does he use nightmares against innocent villagers? Please, please help me. This is a grave sign. We must move quickly. Wait, I think I understand. Do you think it'd be a trap? 
When Malsus uses the nightmares, he terrifies everyone in the village. And what do they do when they're afraid? They pray to the gods. Or what they believe to be the gods. And Malsus gains more power with every prayer. It's a pyramid scheme from hell. <laughs> but now that Landra has come, that's changed. People aren't afraid of the nightmares because they know he can stop them. And everyone will soon realise that Malsus is causing their evil dreams. When the villagers stop praying to Malsus, his powers fade away into obscurity. Then you believe this nightmare was specifically en engineered to end either Alundra's life or yours. I don't believe that Malsus intended to kill anyone with his nightmares, not at first. He sent to frighten everyone in the village, to scare them into prayer. Now that we are here, the nightmares have become deadly. Not to kill the people of the village, but to kill us. Yeah, he's killing us. He's trying to kill us off with nightmares. That's all. But you did it before, Alundra. Trap or no, I have faith you shall prevail once more. You must try. But... What do we do, Alundra? I think we both agree that Mia is right. But without your help, Giles surely dies. Of course, the one entering Giles' dream is you, not me. The choice is yours. Stay here, or plunge headlong into the nightmare at the risk of your very life. Oh. Wait, what was that? Did you hear something? It's the Moog. They're surrounding us. The White Monkeys? What are they doing in the village? Unless... I knew it was a trap. I'm certain the Malsus will kill Giles if we enter his nightmare. And if we were unfortunate enough to be in his dream when Malsus' attack succeeds, we perish along with Giles. Yeah, remember that. If Giles dies while we're in there, we die. I'm sorry, I just refuse to believe this is happening all over again. Septimus, you take Keisha upstairs and barricade yourself in. Landra, be careful out there. Yeah, we're going to go outside and kill off the Moog before we can do anything. It's very important. <laughs> oh, looked away for a second. Look at that. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> the sneaky Moog have been pummeled into lifeless jelly. <laughs> 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 Yeah, they have. I guess. This is the end of Malsus' evil plot. Now and forever. Let's enter Giles' nightmare together. Nundra, will you call Septimus and the others? Of course I will. Of course I will. No! What the? That was me a scream. Mia, what happened? Let's go downstairs. What? No. My... my brother? By the gods, the nightmares transformed Giles into a hideous monster, just like what happened with Klein. Gods are spoken. And it's the same boss, if you remember, the, the soul... The, what was it? Soul Destroyer, or something like that. Giles, listen to me. It's Keisha, your sister. You've been deceived. Keisha? Keisha? <laughs> I don't want to say Keisha. <laughs> Malsus has not won the gods. He's twisted demon out to wreck everything we know of this land. One monster. There's simply no excuse for domestic violence in this day and age. <laughs> there is every excuse. <laughs> if they don't make the sandwich. <laughs> Bit slap. <laughs> Alundra, whatever humanity was left inside Giles has been completely extinguished. All we can do to ease his suffering now is to destroy him. Keisha? You Keisha? Why did this happen? Who did this to her? What? I... killed her? No, I didn't. I... I mean... I can't do this. Alundra, wait. Don't use the sword. Giles is fighting his demons in his mind. You did this, Alundra. If you hadn't come to this village, my sister would still be alive. It wasn't me. I didn't do this. I... The gods told me. I didn't kill her. I didn't do it. I didn't murder Sybil either. It was Alundra. Keisha. You're my sister. You must believe me. The god. Malsus. Giles, please. I know this isn't you. Fight the black invader that wrestles for your soul. Fight him with the pure light I know resides in your heart. Oop, he's vanished. And that is the end of Giles. You could say it's a good thing, I guess, because he was against us, but you don't want anyone to die, really, do you? Do you have any inkling what hour it is? You're disturbing the entire village with this racket. Beaumont, Giles is. He's gone. He battled against a new nightmare crafted by Malsus, but his ravaged body could not withstand the power by unknowingly unleashed. He unknowingly unleashed. Giles chose to die as a human being rather than a twisted servant of evil. He died so that we may yet live. 
This is made our problem all too clear. Mazus is not the kind of merciful god of light at all. He's a black wellspring of corrosive evil. But it is impossible. We pray to the gods, not a dark messenger of evil. We can never be deceived to... Or could we? Ridiculous. We risk our lives to save the people of this village, and still, they don't believe our warnings. They don't even try to understand, but why am I surprised? We've always been outsiders. We're, al we're always ignored until it's too late. Oh. Is he fit? <laughs> Everything Mia said is true, Beaumont. The people of the village have been praying to Malzas. Even though they did it unknowingly, Malzas used the power they gave him to craft the nightmares. We've prayed to the gods since we began to record our history. We've relied on prayer to help us through our most difficult times. What will we do if you strip away our belief, our faith? If you wish peace for this village, I suggest you pray for Alundra's success in the fight against Melzus. If the gods are going to save us from the evil, he is the saviour they have most certainly chosen for us. Yeah, so that's the end of Giles and possibly Keisha. I'm not sure. She was still talking, but she was injured against the wall. Oh. <laughs> Sand gets sore throat. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> Charles prayed more than anyone for peace to return to the village, but it only made him the most vulnerable to the manipulations of Malzus. Thoughts of anger and revenge fill Elendra's mind as he drifts into sleep. The morning light filters in upon the sleeping saviour all too soon. So yeah, another massive character in the game. Giles is gone. Now I think I know what's coming up next, but that's for the next episode. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in a bit.